instead of Prashant Gurbushan. It's uh, the important things you, you started uh, are crucial for my understanding, for my knowledge to, to India. I, I will then insist on a few points that you already introduced and in terms of details. The first figures I would like to insist in are the fact that you have billions or millions of crores every year flowing out of India. And, um, and not only of India, the same is happening for Argentina, Brazil, Russia. You have many countries uh, that are losing, that are letting, getting out their money they are creating thanks to their efforts. And of course, who are stealing all this money from you, from India and those countries that I was naming? Switzerland, Europe, and also other countries are uh, just getting the money, this money from you. And how, thanks to the information, thanks to the banks that are managing and ending those informations. Who is controlling information today is ruling the economy. This is absolutely fundamental to understand clearly. Why? Why? Switzerland, why Europe and other big states are so frightened about insiders, about whistleblowers? Because they represent a risk for them to control the same information for investigators, but also for citizens to not let uh, politic, uh, political um, strategy to, to stress on them only to pay the taxes. We need this information. We, and I'm not talking about uh, a revolution of uh, mind or uh, experience uh, from uh, mad scientists. I'm just offering just to give a look to what the same countries are doing to fight black money. They are protecting, the most efficient one, are protecting whistleblowers, insiders, not only from their own countries operating, from their own countries, but from abroad. I give you the most prominent example we may all know, that is the example from US. US are protecting whistleblower and especially whistleblower from what? From finance. Because we are in a battlefield, in an economical war. And in this war, the most important is information. So, to go beyond those and treaties and laws and promises. We need what? Just a simple protection. You know, just the chance for investigators, for economists to participate to the effort, to participate to the fight that India deserves to, to do, you know, to, to go in with all the weapons available. And, and for that, of course, to go beyond them, all both just offering and creating opening bridges with insiders, with NGOs that, that are full of experts that can get information from abroad, which is the most important, of course, to understand what is in know-how, the body operandi you were insisting. In. And this is absolutely correct. Just to get the right information, to be at the right time, at the right place in this economical battle, we need information. We need the know-how that can come only, of course, from the insider at a minimal effort. 
Information is possible only if we are joining her people from a lot of different countries, a lot of different expertise. It's not focusing on uh, what you can obtain from the same countries that are earning money, thank, money if, thanks to India that you will get the, the best results. Meaning that OCD treaties uh, with all the loopholes that uh, have been revealed won't give you the answer. Of course we need to join up, of course we need not to be prosecuted to be able to help India when we are abroad. And I, I, I will repeat constantly that there is one reason, evident reason, why Switzerland, why Europe are not protecting whistleblowers, are not protecting insiders. But because doing so, they risk to lose millions of crores that they're getting from you, and that are getting from India, from Brazil, from Argentina, from many countries out of Europe. Europe, London, Switzerland, Luxembourg are getting millions of crores from you because you are not adapting to this economical world fast enough. And, um, and of course, it is absolutely necessary to let it understood, known, publicly known. We are not uh, here to, to talk mainly about figures, but about solution, possible solution. And this, as, all, as always, could be obtained only if we join up or talent or knowledge or efforts. And that's why uh, I want to thank you once more about this occasion you, you give me to, to, to join your effort to, to make it not understood. So thanks again, Mr. Prashant Bhushan. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh...